Welcome back to Crafted Entrepreneur. So today we're talking about the seven best businesses that you can start for under $1,000. This is mind blowing to me that in this day and age, you can get started for under $1,000 and make a heck of a lot of money. Some, sometimes you could completely get started for free. And I'm, I'm gonna teach you one of those ways today too, okay? But I'm gonna take you back to when I got started. I was 23 years old, working as an ER nurse, making $28 an hour. And I love to tell my kids this story because they're like, people at Del Taco make $28 an hour. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm old. Because $28 an hour back then was like life-changing for me. <laughs> it was so much money. Chase, when we first got married, was making $7 an hour, okay, to give it perspective here. So us, we had a 4X raise when I became a nurse. And uh, then he made $13 an hour and <laughs> on we went. So all that being said, I came from this mindset of um, you had to trade your time for money. You had to show up somewhere in order to get paid. And there um, was no, there was limits to how much money you could make because you know, I sometimes worked 18 hour shifts, but really like you can't work more than really 50 hours a week as a nurse. You're just exhausted. You're, you're physically can't, it's physical work, right? So you're capped out at a certain amount. And so I just always thought that, you know, I would make a certain amount of money, but I would always have to show up in order to get something. So at 23 years old, when I learned the concept that if I posted my feelings <laughs> online, people would buy things from me. Like this is mind blowing information here. One of my first posts I ever made, if there's any OGs on here, I talked about how the protein shakes I were selling was making me throw up. I said, these things are so disgusting, but I'm supposed to lose 11 pounds, so I'm just gonna drink it anyway. That, that was my branding in the beginning, okay? Uh, no strategy behind it, but it worked because really looking back on it, the strategy was be honest. And when you're honest and authentic and genuine, people buy things from you. And so I became an influencer without even realizing I was becoming an influencer. Now, in this day and age, I still think there's space for being an influencer. And there are still some opportunities that you can sign up for to be an influencer and get free products and review them online. I think it's a lot of work <laughs> in order to do that. And so it's not something that I would personally want to do in this day and age, because I think there's easier things. And the number one thing that you could do right now to start a business for under $1,000 is you can become a copywriter. So when I say a copyright, it's you write copy for other people's businesses. So you can either write sales pages, write emails, or you could even write blogs. You could write social media content for people. But the biggest skill you have to have here is understanding the art of persuasive writing. How do you find out the art of persuasive writing? Well, there's a lot of copy courses you can take out there. Well, my biggest book that kind of changed my life was called Hypnotic Writing by Dr. Joe Vitale. He's one of the top copywriters in the world and he teaches you all about the art of persuasive writing. So you could buy a book for $30 right now and learn how to write copy. And you can go Google it, go and search up some other great copywriters, buy their books, buy their programs. I'm sure they're all gonna be under $1,000 and learn how to write. Copywriters, I just got quoted, okay? For somebody to redo a sales page for me. You're gonna, it's gonna blow your mind. $25,000, $25,000 for them to write my copy. This isn't for them to build out the page or anything. This is just for them to write the copy. They know the skill set that they bring to the table and they have a track record of writing sales pages that convert to sales for coaches. And so they have that track record. You're not gonna come out of the gate tomorrow and be like, I'm charging $25,000 for a website. But you could be like my old copywriter, Andrea, who wrote emails for me. She, 25 bucks an hour, and she would write emails. She'd write like one to two emails an hour. And then she slowly started raising her prices more and more as she became more valuable, more knowledgeable. And you know that is what you do, is you kind of work your way up to it. You're a beginner, 
and people will pay beginner prices. And then the more you learn how to get people to convert to buyers, the more you're gonna be able to charge, right? And you're, you just get better with time. It's like good wine, you get better with time. So I love writing because it takes, it just takes some finesse and understanding the psychology of why people do what they do. And that just takes time. And if you understand the skill of copywriting, you could really do anything. You could work in any industry if you understand copywriting. Second thing you could do right now. And this is something that I would honestly probably do for under $1,000 is do social media management. You could learn so much about social media for free by watching YouTube. Study everything you can around social media and what makes people go viral and offer your services to people. Go, I would start with businesses. I mean, this is like gold here. You guys write this down, right? I would start with businesses. I would go out there and pitch my services. Hey, who's managing your social media right now? There's still a lot of people that understand the power of social media, but they're not putting their marketing dollars into a social media plan. So if you were to go to those businesses and say, hey, here is a 90 day plan of how I can increase your revenue, they're way more likely to go like, yeah, I'll hire you because I see the ROI. It's already you know, it's already laid out for me here. So I love the fact that social media manage management, you could literally do it for free. Number three, online tutoring. My good friend and former student, Jamie Waddell, is, and she's been on the show too, she tutors. Now she's a teacher and she's taken the things that she really understands when it comes to reading and now she helps people online. So you could take an expertise you have. Maybe you used to be really good at math and you have a really good way of explaining it to people. Do tutoring. I mean, you really don't have to um, have a lot of skills. You just have to have a whole lot of patience. Fourth thing you can do, I was at a mastermind a few months ago and the sweet 12 year old girl had started a business where she was selling jewelry and it was beautiful jewelry it was like all these little charm bracelets and charm necklaces that she was making and she was doing it all for you know charity purposes everything she made she was giving away to charity which i freaking love but it got me thinking you could go and buy all of these things on amazon you could go buy um all of these things on Alibaba, like the charms and then like the beads and make jewelry. You know, people make thriving jewelry businesses off of other people's products and just making it into their own. So that's gonna cost a little bit up front because you're gonna have some overhead and some marketing. But if you're a creative person, get into that. People love spending money on gifts. They love spending money <laughs> on uh, things to wear. You know, even with an economy shift that's happening right now, we're still seeing people spend a lot of money on retail stuff. Just this little necklace I have on right now, it's a little like bobble necklace, okay? And I went in, I know it's like not, it's not a nice one, it's like gold plated or something, okay? And this was like $45, it's a C. If you're not watching, if you're listening to this on the podcast, and you're not watching it on YouTube, go to YouTube right now so you could see it. It's very basic. And when she told me the price, I was like, oh my gosh, like I could have got this on Amazon. So then I go on Amazon, it was like $12. I still bought it in person because I like to support small businesses. But you guys, like this is the whole idea right here. Like, hello, it's a basic chain with a bubble letter on it. Like you could sell that on your social media, right? And people will buy it. Just be on trend with what's happening in the world. So I love handmade crafts. I've uh, The next one I saw my sister doing this, personal training. And she got started for free, first of all, because she started teaching people how she had lost weight by counting macros. So she was doing like personalized macro counting for people, charging $100. And it would take her like five minutes to do these calculations. And she'd get these like, you know, throughout the day. Now, as she started to make money in her business, she then took that money. She'd make like several, she had made several thousand dollars. Then she took that money and she invested some of it into getting her NASM personal training license. Now, as a personal trainer, you can make your own hours. You can 
not only meet people in person, but you can also do online training and you can scale that to a seven figure business. But here where I live in Newport Beach, I mean, these trainers charge like $180 an hour for like 45 minutes. I mean, they make bank. My trainer that I go to, she trains me and two of my really close friends at the same time. So I love it because we're getting like that personalized workout and she's making bank. I love it because she's a single mom and I love sowing my seed into her, knowing that it's like going and helping her live a really great life with her two little girls. So personal training is a great thing because even when the economy is shifting, people still want to lose weight. People still care about what they look like. If I were to get into that world right now, I'd go, where is the money? <laughs> where are the empty nesters looking to focus on themselves again? I'm going to go and they're going to be my clients. <laughs> that would be my plan of attack. Number six, virtual assistant. One of my clients actually owns a virtual assistant agency. She's been on the show before, Assist Pro. It's an amazing company, but she got started by being a virtual assistant. Now she owns a multi-million dollar agency full of virtual assistants. So you never know where these things are gonna go, but if you're a person that loves details, you're very organized, you like to follow a system, you like to create systems for people, you wanna be behind the scenes helping somebody you know, live out their dream. By the way, you can learn a lot from these people. Start a virtual assisting business. Most of the time you can have more than one client as well, so there's really no limit to your income because as you start to gain more and more clients, you could just bring on more and more people to your team to take on more clients. Now the seventh business that you can start for under $1,000 is a life coaching business. Because inside of my Game Changers Coaching Academy, you can get started for as little as $300 to get your foot in the door and start learning how to market yourself as a coach and get clients. Life coaching is set to be, I think a $3.1 billion industry in just a few years. There is so much money to be made in the life coaching industry and here's why. Because of social media, everybody's growth game is on point. Like 13 years ago when I got started as an entrepreneur, most people didn't even have a social media account. Most people didn't know podcasts existed. YouTube was barely a thing at this point. The access to information and personal development just wasn't as readily available, okay? There weren't as many content creators out there. Now, it is everywhere how you should be on your growth game and you should be going to the next level all the time. People feel the pressure. They're like, I wanna grow, I wanna do my best. And so life coaching helps people be on a growth game. It helps them stay accountable to their goals. And there's also not this stigma. So most people need to go to therapy, but most people won't go to therapy because of the stigma that comes along with going to a therapist. Now, a lot of people would rather hire a coach than go to a therapist because you know, as a coach, they think, well, they're gonna help me move forward. They're gonna help me take action on my life. So I'm willing to invest in that. Therapy sounds painful. And I'm not at all saying therapy and coaching is the same, because it's not, okay? Therapists are licensed, trained professionals. Coaching has no regulations at all. It's very different. So, uh, you know, <laughs> just wanted to point that out there in case there's any therapists listening in. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> but people are more likely to hire a coach. It just is what it is. So if you're the type of person who loves helping people, who you love to go to bed at night feeling fulfilled, like you made a difference that day, you're probably already the person that people call when their life is going through crisis and <laughs> you're just the person that people unload on. <laughs> be a coach. I mean, you can handle, what I, that shows me is you can handle the capacity for people's feelings and people feel safe and they don't feel judged by you, which is a huge prerequisite to be a really powerful life coach. And there's just so much room for it. So you can get started. Some people, you know, they charge $100 an hour as a coach. In my Game Changers Coaching Academy, I don't teach you to do that, but I just wanted to throw it out there that that's what some people charge and some people get paid that and they make a great living on it. I tend to go on the opposite side of charging per session and I believe you create 
offers that can absolutely change people's lives. And it has nothing to do with sessions. It has everything to do with what you're, what you're willing to create space for and facilitate for your client. So I teach you exactly how to do that, create magnetizing offers inside of Game Changers Coaching Academy. And again, you can get started for $300, a little over $300. So make sure to head over to stand.store forward slash Kayla Craft, and you can see everything about Game Changers over there. You could read testimonials that people have put on there, but I'll never forget Joy. Joy learned how to be a coach through me, through a 12-week program. And then we taught her how to market and do all of the things. And two months after she graduated from our academy, she had her first $83,000 a month as a coach. That is the power of creating really magnetizing offers. By the way, no previous experience as a life coach. Okay, so it was really in a four month time span, she was able to have a quantum leap to having an $83,000 a month. So you wanna hitch your wagon to somebody that knows what they're doing in the life coaching space, and that would be me. And I want you to check it out. So if this has been on your heart at all, stop waiting and just dive all the way into the deep end with us, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this seven ways to create a business that could be profitable for under $1,000 right now.